Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Takaria, also known as your favorite supermodel. And today we're gonna be talking about castings, how to walk out of casting, what should go inside of your model bag, and most importantly, finding your brand and what type of model do you want to be. And today we have our favorite aspiring model of the week, Alicia. Come on out, Alicia. Are you excited to be here today? Yeah. Alright, you don't be acting like this. She's gonna make me nervous, y'all. Sure, Alright, so what type of model do you think you wanna be? Um, I definitely wanna do more high fashion, <clears throat> um, editorial type modeling. And why do you wanna do a high fashion editorial type modeling? Uh I really wanna be like a Iman or a Naomi Campbell. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I want people to see me and be like, oh yeah, this this hug right that's there. her <laughs> definitely that's naomi her. she was very very uh, i love naomi y'all naomi is one of my favorites for me i want to do high fashion editorial and i'm also cool with print and some suits but some of my favorite models are yasmin gari fucking gorgeous of course naomi campbell tiana parker jasmine daniels there's so many all the victoria secret models are also my favorite because that's what I want to do. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yes, I want angel wings so bad. So Victoria's Secret, if you're watching this, I am ready for my angel wings. Let me know when I need to cast. I am ready. There's different types of modeling. You have to know what type of model that you want to be whenever you get started. Whereas we have fitness models like Nike Academy. We have swimsuit models. We have lingerie models, Victoria's Secret, Savage Fancy. We have high fashion models, just print models. Can also be a parts model so parts models like they do like the let me see the hands <laughs> yeah you're, you, you can do yeah. hand modeling and like feet modeling so if that's for you that's for you as well you know you can always try to do that stuff so bop you could be a hand model if you don't know what to do they make a lot of money as well and it's very respected in the industry as well so the different type of modeling to do figure out the type of model that you're going to be you need to find castings if you don't go to castings you probably would not get booked for the thing that you want to get booked for. So I asked Alicia to come in with her casting outfit on and she's pretty much correct. And I think down to the seat, you just ain't got no shoes on, but we on YouTube. <laughs> right. So at a, at a modeling casting, you will want to wear something black and fitted or something white or something maybe new. But usually I just typically wear something black because black makes you look pretty slim and some fitted jeans that makes your body look nice. Don't get nothing too tight that you can't walk in because you still have to walk and elongate yourself. Um, you also want to have some comfortable shoes on that you can definitely walk in, that you practice walking in. And you want to have your hair nice, natural, something that's real, real pretty and just really natural. And your makeup, her makeup is just pretty for it. It's a little much for a cast and she looks too good. They're going to be like, oh yeah, <laughs> you're cheating. You look too good. I have a little bit, little much makeup as well, but I'll insert a, a picture of how my makeup will look at a casting so y'all can see how you're supposed to look. But you want to keep it very natural, clean. Um, I don't advise wearing eyelashes to castings. I usually just wear a little bit of mascara and like I'll barely touch my eyebrows. I might like put like a brow like gel thing over my hairs. And other than that, I might touch up like a pimple. And that's about it. But you don't really want to like hide yourself. You want to go as like a blank canvas so that they can know what you look like without anything on. And they can dress you up yourself. And also like I don't I don't wear acrylic nails. I get my real nails done. It's quarantine right now, so I can't go to the nail salon. So they look bad. Awesome. But <laughs> whenever I go to castings, I don't wear no no fake nails. I just like to be as simple as I can so they can see my natural beauty. And so y'all can book me. So Victoria's Secret, when it's time for casting, she ready. I'm ready, baby. We both pretty, baby. <laughs> So definitely before every casting, you want to definitely research the designer and also research the type of clothes that they make and the models that have previously walked for them. So you can kind of have it in your head what's going on. Do you even really want to do this? And so you can kind of picture yourself in the clothes already. And so you also have something to talk about whenever they ask you questions. So you can be like, oh yeah, I love the, the thing that you did for Spring Fashion Week 2025. That was dope. Oh yeah, you know about my brand? Yeah, I know about your brand. <laughs> Guess what? Now they want me to walk with them because I know about you already. <laughs> so definitely mm -hmm. look up the brand before you go and you have to be confident, as confident as we are right now, how you gotta walk up in there. Like you already know that the spot is yours. You're walking in Paris Fashion Week. That's you. 
And you also want to be nice to other models. You want to network. I met so many models and photographers and other creatives at castings just by like being nice and talking to them at the casting. Also, don't be on your phone. Bring you a book, which is in my model bag. I hope y'all know what a model bag is. If y'all don't, I will explain it to you. It's kind of like a model backpack. It comes with me everywhere I go at my castings. And I pull a book out so I can read my book and be studious and smart while I'm waiting on my turn. Cause being on your phone is just, I don't know. You don't do that job interview, so I feel like this is also a job interview. So know what you do. I like to bring a digital portfolio you can have your real portfolio, like a paper version as well, but I like digital. You want to bring me some water if you get thirsty. I like to pack deodorant. I don't know if y'all be needing deodorant, but I keep deodorant in my model bag. I keep some edge control too, because my engine's being a little wild. You want to bring, I, I keep an extra black tank top inside of my model bag. So if I need to change tank tops or I'm not liking to her, just cut differently. If I don't like that cut on myself, I might change it in the bathroom before I walk in. I keep a pair of black tights. I also keep a pair of blue jeans in here too. If I have a black jeans, I keep a pair of blue jeans. This model bag is huge. <laughs> it came from H&M. It was like $15. I got it right before LA Fashion Week and it's worth. I keep a phone charger. You want to keep up. You want to keep also um, makeup products, like touch up makeup products, like a little foundation and setting spray in case you need that and lip gloss. You want to have you a new bra. My phone charger got caught on it, y'all. A black bra. I also got some new underwear in here and some black underwear as well. But unless you're married, you're not going to see my underwear. But you should definitely have a model bag that holds all my stuff safely. Great. Now, castings can be a little, little bit nervous and like nerve wracking, but you'll get through it. Like I said earlier, just be very confident. They really are super short. Like the wait time is probably longer than what you're going to be doing, honestly. Um, whenever I auditioned for New York Fashion Week, I just had to walk like down this line and that was it. Have you ever casted for anything? No. Oh, it's, it's simple, girl. Well, not everything is simple. It's kind of hard, but it's simple. LA Fashion Week, they had us go into a room. Well, they measured us before we walked in there to make sure that you were the proper height. And then you walk into a room and like you put in your information on the computer and then they measure you to make sure that you're acting with your comp card. And what else did they do? Oh, we had to walk down the line as well. But this time, like the lady stood at the end of this mirror room and she held a camera and you just said your name. So I would say Takari and Ash and then you walk, pose, and then you walk back. And I'll show you my walk at the end. Sports Illustrated, I always talk about that because like that's the craziest casting I've ever been to. We got there at four o'clock in the morning and we didn't walk in until 11 a.m. and it was raining. Yeah, crazy. So four to 11, we were outside sitting on the ground and then MJ Day came out. So we all like ran up and was like, oh my God, MJ Day. <laughs> Um, basically like we walked up to the to the casting table and we just basically told about ourselves so make sure you know about your brand too because they ask a lot of questions about your brand so find your brand what you stand for and what you will do and what you will not do i tell y'all now i don't i don't do music videos for like i don't know music video is not part of my brand it's not what it is and i don't do nude maybe later my brand might possibly change but as for right now that ain't what I'm doing. You have a brand, kinda? Kinda, sorta. All right, what's your brand? I'm finding my brand. All right. I know I don't wanna do music videos. Don't wanna do nude. I like the boudoir type deal. You like boudoir? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but nothing new, nothing. Yeah, nothing nude in my music videos. No music videos either. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, I don't, I don't, you know. I think it's probably gonna be my brand for a minute. I don't do all that. Mm -hmm. And I really like shooting with creative directors as well. So I think that's like 
that's not part of my brand, but I kind of always want to work with a creative director. It's low key, so a low key part of my brand, if that makes sense.